Now that we know how to list friends, we're going to build up this friends page. And this is going to do two things. Firstly, show the uh, your, your friends, basically. So this is going to be accessible by you. And it will also show friend requests, which you can then click on and accept. So we're going to build up this page ready to go. We're going to output the list of the user's friends. And then we can look later on at uh, friend requests. So we're going to build a controller first of all. And this is going to be probably guessed friend controller. And that's again take from, let's say the search controller here. And we'll get rid of DB because we're not going to need that. We will need user and we will need request as well. So we can just get rid of that and change the controller name. Okay, so we're going to implement the index page here. This controller is also going to handle the adding of friends as well and accepting of friends. So we add our index page. What we want to do now is return our view, which is friends.index. And again, we can create this view down in our resources section. So if we create a new folder here called friends, create a new file in here called index.blade.php. We'll take the template from home again, so we don't have to keep writing it out. And inside of here in the course downloads, you'll find the uh, index markup for this. It's just a row with two columns and we have two headers in here. So it's not too much trouble to write out yourself if you want. So we now need a root. So let's update our root to be able to access this page. This is just going to be general friends roots. And for this one, it's just going to be forward slash friends, just the page. So again, I'm just going to copy and paste this. It requires the auth middleware, which is really, really important. I'm actually going to copy this one. So you can either put that in a root group around this if you want to, or just uh, add them in as individually. It's entirely up to you. So we change this to friend controller, get index, and this is going to be called friend.index. So let's head over to friends page then. And there we go. So we've got your friends and then your friends requests up here. But let's just add the link in the navigation to this friend page first of all. So let's go over to our templates, our navigation. And down here, when we are signed in on the left hand side, we've got our friends just here. So root friends.index. I'm also going to update this timeline link while I'm here. This is just in fact the home page because when we get to the timeline, the home page will become the timeline. So now we have, oops, okay, so I think it was friend.index, wasn't it? So let's change that. There we go. So when we click on this, we can go between these two now. So this is going to be a list of our friends. We already know how to do that. So let's update our controller. Let's create a friends variable. This is going to be auth user friends. Remember, that's the friends method that we implemented on the user model. Let's go ahead and use our auth facade up here. And we'll pass this to our view. So with friends, friends like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our profile index page. And we are literally just going to copy this, which is the uh, check to see if friend exists, and then loop through. So we're going to paste this over under our list of friends, make sure it's indented correctly. And obviously here we have a variable called friends. So we just say friends count. And we don't need that as a method call. And then here we can uh, just say you have no friends because this is just a private page that you would access. So you have no friends, um, which is a bit cruel. But uh, So for each user, friends as user, we need to change this to 
user friends as user because remember our user block uses this user variable and this should be okay as long as we've not made any mistakes and there we go so you have no friends so I actually removed the friend relationships but let's go ahead and add these back in or just at least one of them you can see here your friends Dale Garrett there we go so this is uh, pretty much you know we're, we've come a long way now we've got a list of our friends uh, we've got a page that holds our friend requests so we can check this but next what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we actually add a friend and then later on we can look at accepting a friend and then we can actually just start to build this friend request list up and then add to our friends without having to manually add data into the database so what I'd suggest you do is delete all of the friend data from the database if you don't already make sure you do have a few user accounts that you can test this out with and we're ready to go and start adding friends.